the British, who I think is also is hosting another event, mm -hmm. this evening, of the British government and the private sector uh, supported by long-term domestic low-carbon policy commitment budgets in Britain. They continue to be used as a model as we shape our domestic policy. And my hope is that events, countries doing the right thing, financial services remain who can really coincide. That's one of, I think, our key messages. Doing good, yes, benefit of all. So I hope you find it um, a useful gathering this evening. I hope you make some useful... We've actually just issued our first green bonds. We're the first emerging economy to uh, issue green bonds and the third only in the world after Poland and France. Um, 100, modest 100 million Fijian dollars, 50 million US. And uh, I'll go into some details later on. But I think uh, essentially uh, from, uh, I was not here from the beginning, but from the conversations I've heard, there's a lot of focus on mitigation. Obviously smaller island countries like ours and various other parts of the world, a lot more focus on adaptation finance, access to adaptation finance. Because uh, the fact is that we have very low carbon footprint almost negligible in comparison in compared to many other countries. So, but yet, notwithstanding that, we are the cold face of climate change. So we need to be able to have a lot of adaptation measures in place. However, notwithstanding that, we also have in our NDCs, and we, we uh, have a focus on mitigation too. So I'd like to very briefly talk about the green bonds that has been issued. We actually work very closely with IFC. Uh, from the time it was conceptualized to the first issuance, which was on the 1st of November, uh, it was very interesting. The banks actually were interested in it for the first time, commercial banks in Fiji. They normally don't participate in this, uh, in this space. We normally have insurance companies, superannuation funds, uh, buying our normal bonds. And we offered uh, uh, two trenches. So we had uh, one trench of five-year maturity with 4% uh, coupon rate and 13-year maturity with 6.3% uh, coupon rate. Uh, we are oversubscribed uh, in the first uh, uh, round. So we had $40 million was issued, Fijian dollars, and we hope to have three more trenches in the next, uh, in the next three to four months. Uh, the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, as rightly pointed out, for many of the countries like ours, we need to have a blended finance approach uh, to many of the issues or many of the costs we need to meet. Uh, recently, we've done a uh, a blended finance uh, for some water projects and waste management projects where the European Investment Bank, Asian Development Bank, Green Climate Fund, and the Fijian government uh, funded a project of approximately 405 million US dollars for, you know, for the greater Suba area, which is the capital city. And we see that as more uh, applicable now uh, for us. Uh, obviously, as stated, the state governments themselves cannot fund these projects. Our challenge, of course, is how do we actually ensure we do get some private sector participation in this space. The idea, as we've said, we need to have a lot more transparency. We need to be transparent, better accounting systems. Uh, we need third-party validation. In our case, we've got system analytics that's actually carry out, carrying out the validation to ensure that the bond, the investment raised from that actually goes towards for the purpose for which it was stated it was going to be used for uh, in the first place. Um, the other point that I'd also like to make for uh, I know in the overall scheme of things, uh, we are much smaller than many of the private uh, bonds that have been issued. But I think it also provides an opportunity for uh, private sector investors, uh, for even as far as London, uh, to be able to uh, participate in that space because there is a, I suppose many would say moral, uh, you know, ethical obligation, but I would sort of say that it actually gives you a much bigger footprint. And from our purposes, we like the idea of having private investors from other parts of the world, in particular from Europe uh, and UK and what have you, uh, because it also gives us that level of credibility. And similarly, uh, with the Fijian government launching this bond through our Reserve Bank, we see an opportunity for the other Pacific Island countries. There's about another 16, 17 island countries within the Pacific region, and they're quite interested in this bond issue that we have raised. Last but not least, the point I'd like to make is that uh, for us, uh, we do not necessarily see, we, in fact, we don't uh, see a demarcation between uh, development and climate change, um, addressing climate change. For us, it's one of the same. Because the reality is that any development finance actually equates to climate change finance or climate finance. Because we need to build the resilience into our economies. We need to have not just resilience in terms of how we cope uh, with uh, you know, economic issues, but also in terms of very hardcore 
fiscal in infrastructure, physical infrastructure. Uh, we had a cyclone last year that uh, wiped off uh, a third of the value of our GDP in a span of a day and a half. Uh, we had 44 people killed. Um, we had 225 schools that were damaged or completely damaged. 40,000 homes were actually damaged too. Only 10% of all the properties actually insured. So we welcome the initiative by the, the Germans with the uh, Insure Resilience uh, program that's been launched today because we again see an opportunity for insurance companies to participate in that space. And I think it's how we actually develop the products and develop the actual pool uh, that can contribute towards the, the, the larger pool in terms of providing that particular uh, product and availability of, uh, of cover. I'd like to end there now. Um, people in Fiji have been sleeping for the past 12 hours, and I haven't been. And they're all waking up now, and I need to sleep now also. <laughs> But thank you for this opportunity. Uh, but I, I want to take this opportunity to actually highlight to you, please, um, we do not want handouts. Uh, what we want is people's ability to be able to understand that there are products being developed in our, in our part of the world. You have the ability to participate in it. You're not going to lose money. In fact, you're going to make money. But by you participating in our, for example, bond issue, you are also contributing uh, indirectly to us to be able to meet the challenges of climate change in our part of the world. Thank you very much. Finaka.